Jane, a bit of a sense of deja vu tonight. How many speeches did you actually write? I didn't write any. I just um, thought of a few points that I'd you know, like to make and um, probably forgot a few of them anyway, but um, just a bit there. Yeah, to be able to um, receive the award Allen Border Medal tonight has just been uh, something you always dream of. Um, and coming to the Allen Border Medals as a, as a younger guy to actually be up there to finish the night is it's pretty surreal, really. You were the hot favourite and you ended up winning by 100 votes. Did you did that surprise you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I, I suppose it's not until the last week or so when you really see what people are writing that you realise that you, that you might be close to winning it. So um, to win it yeah, by 100 votes is just pretty, pretty, well, it's hard, it's hard to really get my head around that I've been able to, I suppose, be consistent more than anything. I wasn't and you know, an amazing sort of whole um, year that I was able to put together, but more so to be able to stay fit and be able to contribute um, consistently, I suppose, was the reason why I was nice enough to win the award tonight. And only the second player to win back-to-back -back medals. You're really writing yourself into the history books. Um, for me, I suppose, writing myself in the history books has more so been able to stay in the park for uh, long enough to be able to even um, be available for these um, uh, medals and these awards. So. Um, for me to be able to play as much cricket as I have over the last couple of years is, is for me the, really the biggest achievement because it's a long way away a few years ago.